first before we get to clean this kitchen up. Let's make a drink. This is my go-to. This works for all my appliances, my granite and everything. My go-to right here. So we just gonna clean this little space out right quick so I can make me a drink. Y'all, this is my first time making this this drink, so we're gonna attempt to do this, okay? Give us a shot. So, I'm just gonna cut my lemon. I'm just gonna squeeze some lemon in here. It's okay if you drop a seed in there. I guess it's okay. Just don't swallow it. Y'all, this is my little cocktail. The kids are asleep. And mama finna have her a little drink and get this kitchen clean so I can go to bed. I'm gonna put a little bit of this in there. Well, a lot, I like this. <laughs> put that in there. Give me a shot of, you can use any kind of vodka, I'm pretty sure. Give me some ice. I don't want too, too much. Y'all, yeah, I messed up big time. Okay. But well, let me show you how I'm going to do that. Let me show you how I'm going to do that. So y'all, I'm gonna take my lemon, the lemon that I cut, and I'm just gonna take it and wet my rim really good, really good, really good. Y'all, so I'm trying to make a 
blackberry lemon drop. That's 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 what I'm making. Okay? And you get your salt. Get your salt. Pour it on a plate. And take your glass. Take your glass. Do you see it? Do you see it? Okay. And just take this. And open. The other one open. You know what? We're just going to use the other one. No, I better use this one. We'll just use this one. It's already open. And that's it. Let's see how it tastes. Don't play with no me. Mmm. Mmm. Don't play with no me, okay? Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mm. That's good there. I better throw that away. So, now that we made our drink, honey, let's get into this cleaning video. So, in this video, let me talk to y'all. In this video, we will be cleaning this kitchen up and also resetting the coffee bar for Valentine's, okay? So y'all just stay tuned and get into this clean with me. And if you sitting at home and you ain't got nothing to do and you know that kitchen ain't clean, prop me up on your, on your countertop, plug me up on your TV, wherever you watch YouTube at, okay? And clean with me, okay? Welcome, welcome, welcome back. <laughs> Hope all is well with you guys. And I just want to hop on here just to tell you guys, just to give you some insight about me for the ones that don't know me. Uh, I am a mother of four. I am a wife. I am a business owner. I have an online boutique. Uh, so y'all shop with me, you know, um, I try to have pieces where if you're a mama or you a busy woman, you on the go, baby, I got some sets that you need. So, um, I try to do things all around mommyhood. You know, I know you want to look good sometime, but you want to be comfortable most of the time. I got you covered. So I will leave that link below. And I am also a preschool teacher, okay? So I am a busy, 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 busy woman. So if you're anything like me, you need to come on and, and shop with me. Also, watch this video with me because it's going to be some tips in here probably. It's going to be some shortcuts in here probably that you want to use. So... I try to wait till my kids go to bed. It don't always happen like that. But I really have a good time. I enjoy cleaning. Cleaning is like therapeutic to me. I love to clean. If I'm if I'm feeling down or anything, if I just get up and clean up, I'm in a whole nother place. I'm in a whole nother mood. So you will see all things area all things family in these videos you're gonna see family trips you're gonna see um date nights with the hubby 
You're going to see me surprising him, taking him on trips. You're going to see some of everything. You're going to see things we do with the kids when they play sports. You're going to see all kind of cleaning motivation things that you can do around your home. You're going to see business tips. Just anything that you can think of that revolves around a woman, a hardworking woman, you're going to see it on this page. So just come along, follow the journey, and just... You know, come on, enjoy the ride. So, you sit back, get you some popcorn, get you a little drink, whatever you want, and go ahead and enjoy this video. And in the comments below, let me know what other type of videos you guys would want to see. A quick question, you guys. Let me know in the comments below. Do you all make dish water or do you all wash your dishes kind of like I'm washing mine in the video? Because way back in the day, I used to do dish water. But I don't do that no more. I just spray my dishes down with a little Clorox. And I use that Dawn, honey. And I get those dishes clean. So let me know if you make dish water or you wash them, you know, single. Let me know in the comments, okay? South girl. I live in Hattiesburg, Mississippi. Okay. <laughs> so yes, I'm a down south girl. So let me know in the comments where you watching from. Let me know where you watching from. If you're not local, let me know where you watching from. If I don't know you personally, let me know where you watching from. Okay. I know y'all hear that country accent. It's okay though. But let me know where y'all watching from, okay? <laughs> Two or three things that if you can clean 
with but three things, what would it be? That's kind of hard for me because I know I would have my dome. I would do Clorox and I would do Vinica. Those three things for sure. For it's like mostly household cleaning. If I just had to have three, I would keep those. I would choose those three things. So let me know what's your holy grail. Like what would you keep if you only had to keep three cleaning products in your house? What would it be? I'm thinking about peroxide too. But y'all let me know. Let me know. Y'all can give me some tips. Let me know what three things that you would keep to clean with if you could only keep three things in your house. That's that's kind of hard. That's kind of hard to to think about. And baby, I'm drying them dishes up. I do not like to leave dishes on my counter at nighttime. Like, I know some people, they will wash them and, you know, they have a rag to let them air dry overnight. I, I can't do it. I cannot do it. I'm going to dry them dishes. I'm going to put them up and everything. Do y'all dry y'all dishes at night? Or whenever y'all wash them, nighttime, morning time? Or do you all use the dishwasher? Because my husband, he, he loves the dishwasher. But... I like to hand wash my dishes. The only way I'm going to put my dishes in the dishwasher, I'm really tired. I'm really, really tired. Other than that, I'm going to hand wash those dishes, okay? So let me know if y'all be hand, hand washing y'all dishes. Y'all finna see something in this video. Y'all want to tell somebody else to do it. Y'all, I cut my hand. I cut my hand. I forgot that those were new knives. And honey, I cut my hand and I wanted to just leave the whole kitchen just the way it was and just go get in the bed. Because at that point, hmm, y'all, I was hurt. But I put a band-aid on it and put a glove on it. I just kept doing what I had to do, but I did want to say, like, find somebody else to do it, because that caught me off guard. Y'all be doing it, or is it just me? <laughs> Another thing, y'all, I love, love, love to see a clean shiny sink and y'all believe it or not like I do this almost every night like this is not just for this video like I clean my kitchen up like this every night and this not even a deep clean this not a deep clean but guess what you know what keep me pumped though that music I have to have my music on while I'm cleaning up. It keep me going. Like, I already like to clean, but just having that music, it's just, it, it do something to me. So I have to clean with music. Like, I'm going to have me some music playing. But I had to have that music down and kind of low because I did not want to wake them babies up. Because, mm -mm, let them sleep. So I just went, you know, I just went ahead, finished cleaning up. I'm almost done, y'all. So just just stay tuned so y'all can see the rest of the video, okay? All right. <laughs> y'all, that birthday stuff, we celebrated my baby boy's seventh birthday, okay? And I had did a little quick breakfast for him that morning, put some balloons out for him, and I woke up late, but I made it happen. And then after school, we did homework. And we went out to Chuck E. Cheese, took him to the Crab House, took him to Target, let him got a toy. So he had a great, great time, you guys. So happy, happy birthday, Austin.
think I got most of this stuff from Target. Yeah, from Target, from Target. So I tried to switch out my little coffee station uh, around seasons and holidays and stuff. So, you know, we just got done with Christmas. So we're gonna put a few things over on the coffee bar for Valentine. So I got this little, I think I got this from Dollar General. I got this from Dollar General, $1. $1. That little cup set. So cute. The $5, the bull's eye section at Target. $5 for two. Oh, this is cute. Got the little coffee bar sign. $3 from Target. Got some little pot holders, $5. Got this cute little cup, I think from Hobby Lobby. They was having 40% off. Cute cup. I got this from Hobby Lobby. It was $3.99, but 40% off. I got this from Dollar General, $1. This from Hobby Lobby to switch out my little reef above my stove. I got this from Hobby Lobby. It was a regular price, $19.99. And I also got this to add to my little coffee bar. Hobby Lobby. And I bought us all kind of goodies to add in my containers that we have over there already. So we have some little cookies, little Valentine cookies. We have some little mixed nuts, Valentine. You know, we are coffee drinkers, cocoa drinkers. I think these were three or $5 Target. And I'm excited about this, y'all. Let me know in the comments if you all seen this at your target. I'm excited about this. So I might try one tonight. So that's what we have, our little haul. So let's head over to the coffee station. This is before, okay? So, I think we need to go back this way because I need to wash the cups. So let's go back over here. Let's take it over here. I need to wash the cups really quick. So I'm gonna take these off. These were my colors for Christmas. This is my little coffee thing now. I may still use this over here too. I don't want it too crowded. Right, one peppermint left. To rinse it too.
let me know in the comments below do you all change out your stuff around your house for different holidays different seasons let me know like my favorite right now this is my favorite this brand is really good too I love to clean with these tiles y'all these are great to clean with microfiber I'm like, why am I having a hard time getting this stuff off? I don't have, I don't have my cloth. You see how much easier that was to get it cleaned out? That paper towel be, be leaving a lot of lint. They leave a lot of lint. So I think I'm gonna switch it around. And I can just pull it out when I get ready to use it. So I'm just gonna push it back for right now. You know I have to keep these on deck for my coffee. So I think I'm gonna put this over there. I'm gonna rinse this out. Y'all had to go change shirts because I didn't want all my goods to slip out, you know, so I went change shirts. Y'all have to go back and get some more of those. I'm good. Those are really good. I want to try these, but we're going to wait. I'll let y'all know how these taste in my next video. I'll let y'all know. So we're going to take this. Oh, it's so pretty.
Y'all still had this glove on because I kind of cut my hand a little bit. So I have a Band-Aid right here and I just put this glove on top. Each one of my small babies will get one of these. We'll probably do something with this like Saturday night, Sunday. Sweet nothings. I'm gonna put it. We'll put it right here. No, we'll put it right here. And we're gonna put love right here. Like that. That's my little coffee for y'all. I have to put the kids' vitamins back right here. Go get these. They are really good. Really good. I need to keep this. Keep these in the pantry. vacuum mop things what y'all using because i had to pull that broom out from time to time and y'all when you have kids small kids like i do baby you have to get underneath wherever they sitting there eating 
because, baby, they have footprints, fingerprints, food prints, and all. So you have to get up under there, too. That swift I had wore your girl out. But I like to use it for, like, quick cleanups when it's not that bad. Any other time, we have to bring out that mop bucket, that water, and that mop. But tonight, I just only had to use the Swiffer. I try to always buy myself some flowers. I like to take the bushes and plant them off the leaves and stuff off. But let me get something to do it because that stuff be hurting. It be hurting. And just pull it down. Simple. Just pull it down, girls. I ain't trying to clean up no more messes tonight. Just a little bit more. And I always slant it, y'all. I always slant it. And I like to roll it out too. Like fluff it out a little bit like this. I fluffed that one too much. But fluff it out a little bit to open up your rolls. Give it a little bit more, you know. You can also put an aspirin in here, but this will, this will work. I have two of them. I like use my stem to kind of stir it up. Be careful because them stem, that stuff will hurt you. And just spin it to open it up a little bit. Some of them are open just right. Some of them won't. See, that one open real good. Some of them things hurt though. Some of them hurt. Cut that one a little too short, girl. Cute. Oh, look at that one! So cute! <laughs> so cute! Look, y'all! So I would normally like play with it a little bit, but your girl is tired. I'm ready to go to bed now. See, Sam's flowers are a little bit more full. So this is my baby's look. So I'm gonna put them over here. 
I cut my little light off right there, y'all. I love that little light, too. And that is it, y'all. It's clean. Good night.